For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're going to do these three problems that said determine the magnitude of the components of F acting along and perpendicular to segment BC. Then they want you to determine the magnitude of the projected component of F along AC and then find the angle between the pipe segments BA and BC, this angle right here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find all the position vectors of the points involved which are A which is equal to 0i plus 0j plus 0k b is equal to 3i plus 4j plus 0k c is equal to 7i plus 6j minus 4k f we have right here and f is equal to 30i minus 45j plus 50k and just so we have it because we're going to need it we're going to find the magnitude of f which can be found by doing the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square which is this square plus the square plus the square and it comes out to be 73.7 so now that we have all these values we can find the vector bc it's a vector going from b to c this vector right here can be found by doing position vector c minus position vector b and it comes out to be 4i plus 2j minus 4k now the magnitude of this position vector is fine with the same formula but these three values and it comes out to be six nice round number so the univector bc can be found by dividing the vector bc by its magnitude the univector bc is this tiny vector here with a magnitude of one so dividing these three values by six it's going to give you the univector which comes out to be 0.667i plus 0.333j minus 0.667k. One second. Now that you have the univector, you can calculate the uh, projected um, component of F along. BC, in other words, the one that's along, by doing the top product of F, which we have right here, and the univector which is calculated. So this is 30i minus 45j plus 50k dot 0.667i plus 0.333j minus 0.667k so 30 times 0.667 is 20 45 times 0.333 is negative 15 because it's negative and 50 times 0.667 is negative 33.35 just about when you calculate this this comes out to be negative 28 0.35 but they want the magnitude so it's positive 28.35 now this is the value of the force acting along the force BC the fact that it's negative just means that it's going the opposite way now if you have the uh, force let me redraw this section you have the force you have the force along and you have the force per that's perpendicular and you know that this angle is a 90 degree angle and this tiny force is 28.35 and this force is 73.7 because this force is this vector and we calculated the magnitude right here so 
this uh, hypotenuse is 73.7 and this is 28.35 and this is a right triangle so the Pythagorean theorem tells us that 28.35 square plus the force acting on BC that is perpendicular to the force acting on BC square is equal to 73.7 square this square plus this square is equal to d square for basic Pythagorean theorem which means that the force acting perpendicular comes out to be 68 and this is the force acting parallel along BC so final answer and final answer for the uh, first part now for the second part they want you to find the magnitude of the projected component along AC so we're going to do the same thing but we're going to use this vector so I'm just going to crook it it's a little better we're going to use this vector AC So basically the first thing we need to do is we need to find the vector AC can be 5 by doing the position vector C minus the position vector A. Now this comes out to be 7i plus 6j minus 4k. Now the magnitude AC which can be found with this same formula but with these three values comes out to be 10.05. So the univector AC is fine by dividing the vector AC by its magnitude and that univector is this univector right here and the univector AC comes out to be 0.697i plus 0.597j minus 0.398k now that you have the univector to find the the component of the force of self acting along this vector all you have to do is do the dot product between the force and the univector AC which means the, the dot product between 30i minus 45j plus 50k dot the univector which is calculated which is 0.697i plus 0.597j and I'm running out of space minus 0.398k so when you do the dot product between these uh, two vectors it's going to come out to be negative 25.8 86 but they want the magnitude so it will be 25.86 however instead of instead of like in the exercise before where they wanted the force along and the perpendicular force for this one they just want the Cartesian vector expression of the force so basically the fact that it's negative they're telling you that it's going this way that's basically what they're telling you if you want to find the Cartesian vector expression of this force, all you got to do is multiply its uh, magnitude or by the univector going in its direction. But we already have the univector going in the opposite direction. So what we can do is negative the magnitude. In other words, we're going to use this value, negative 25.86. And all we're going to do is we're going to multiply by this univector. The fact that it's negative is going to give us this force instead of the opposite force. So this univector is 0.697i plus 0.597j minus 0.398k. And this unit vector comes out to be negative 18i. Uh, actually that's a minus minus 15.44 J 
plus 10.3k. So that's the Cartesian uh, expression of the uh, component of the force F along A and C. And let me scroll down so we have a bit more space for the third part. They want you to determine the angle data between BA and BC. Let me get my notes. Okay. So <clears throat> to find the angle data, this angle right here is what we're finding. First, we need to find BA. BA is position vector A minus position vector B and it comes out to be negative 3i minus 4j plus 0k and bc is position vector c minus position vector b and is 4i plus 2j minus 4k and i believe bc we already found yes see we already found right here and we already found the magnitude to be 6, magnitude of BC is 6, and the magnitude of BA, which is found with this formula, it's 5. Now that we have the magnitudes and the vectors, we can do the dot product. So by definition, sorry, that's a B, the dot product between BA and BC is equal to the magnitude of BA times the magnitude of BC times the cosine of the angle we're trying to find which is the angle between them the dot product of negative 3i minus 4j plus 0k dot the dot product between 4i plus 2j minus 4k is the same as 5 times 6 times the cosine of theta. So negative 3 times 4 is negative 12, negative 4 times positive 2 is negative 8, and 0 times whatever is 0. It's the same as 30, 5 times 6 is 30, cosine of theta. Now, if you solve for theta, just solve this equation for theta. You should be able to. You should be able to do this. Uh, it's equal to 131.8 degrees. Final answer for the angle. So we found the angle between them. We found the projection along AC and its Cartesian vector form by multiplying by the the magnitude negative by the unit vector, and we found the projection along and perpendicular to BC by the Pythagorean theorem and doing the dot product with the univector. Final answers. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.